we're also peaceably assembling. There's no way they can tell us that 9-11 is, is not an anti-war message. Because that's what they tried to say, 9-11 is not an anti-war message. Are you kidding me? Come on, you know, why are we in these wars? Because of 9-11, right? So basically, we're standing strong. If we have any issues, you know, we're not, we're not going to go to the back of the bus today. Are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth don't are people with something the to truth hide. are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth um, are often when there is dissent expressed in the United States against policies of the Israeli government, um, uh, people here are called anti-Semitic. Uh, what is your response to that as an Israeli Jew? Well, it's a trick. We always use it. When from Europe somebody is criticizing Israel, then we bring up the Holocaust. When in this country people are criticizing Israel, then there are anti-Semitic. Um, absolutely. Of course, you know, when we're talking about the culprits of 9-11, the people I named, they may identify as being Jewish, and they are mostly identified as being Israeli, but they do not represent all Israelis, and they certainly don't represent all Jews. And, and, and what, I, what, I, what I, Jews in America are basically, to my understanding, doubly deceived. They're deceived first on the, on the notion that they should support the state of Israel, and secondly, they, they, they're deceived as we are about what happened on 9-11. And so for them, it's a harder thing to do because they first have to wrap their head around the idea that the state of Israel isn't the holy moly thing that they've been raised to think it is. They've been raised to think that that is a city on a hill, that is the, the last resort for the Jewish people, and that Israel is a good thing for the Jewish people. If you, if you read what Israeli authors will tell you, they, they, the, people like Avi Schleim from Israel, they say that Zionism is the worst enemy of the Jewish people because it, it makes them vulnerable. It brings them into a war situation and it, it, and it associates them with terrible crimes that put them in danger. So obviously you can see that 9-11, these Israelis are very reckless. They're, they're, they're putting the American Jewish community into harm's way. Many Jews, many Jews died on 9-11, as you said, but, but they, were not, they were not the ones that got the message. They, they didn't get the memo in Hebrew, stay away from the World Trade Center because at 8.47, all hell is gonna break loose. The Israelis got the memo, the American Jews didn't.